Are you trying to make a store locator for your website? Then please check out this video because we have a product that is definitely going to catch your attention. So what is a store locator? Let's say you are a brand or business like Harley Davidson. You will be having multiple number of stores, showrooms, franchises spread across the globe. So a store locator will be a page on your website where a customer can come in, type in their nearest city or location and figure out which is the store that's closest to them. All the stores will be plotted on a map so they can visually see where the stores are. So how can you create a store locator page? That's what we are going to see in this video and the product we are going to be looking at is called storelocator.site. This product works using Google Sheets. So the first step is to install the Google Sheets add-on. Let's go ahead and install the add-on. Click on continue. Choose the account. You have to give the permissions to access the Google Sheets. So just click on allow. And that's it. Once the add-on is installed, I'll start with a blank sheet and then I will select store locator under extensions and click on get started. This brings up a get started wizard. We also see two entries automatically added. So the first step is to choose columns from the sheet to match the listing details. First, you got to select the title of the store, which is the name of the store. Then you got to select the columns which contains the address information. Here we have three such columns. And then for the mobile information, we choose the mobile column. Similarly, we matched the email column. If you want to add a filter, you can select which columns you should filter the stores by. Here it's just going to be the type column. You can also set the business hours that you want to show and tags again we'll see what tags are later in the video for now let's just set it to type and click on next now you see a preview of how the listing will look we also have the option to set a primary color here we have an orange color so i'm going to just do the same change the color set the primary color to orange and click on get map you can see that an additional column called coordinates have been added which contains the latitude and longitude. So now when I click on open map, I get to see a beautiful store locator with its unique URL, both the listings that were there in the Google Sheet. And when I click on view on map for the target store, I get to see the location in San Francisco. It has search, filters and all the other features. There is also the option to embed the store locator by means of iframe you just paste the code snippet to an html page and you will have that added to the html page and if you're not familiar with this do not worry you can just tell your web development team hey please create a store locator with this piece of code snippet and create a page just like this and of course you will be in charge of managing all the details about your stores inside the google sheet now i wanted to explore the product a bit more basically i want to see how i can add the information from a google map listing onto my google sheet so here i start off with the harley davidson store again just paste the name first i can easily copy the address click on that and paste it here i can separate out the country information if i want so i'll add to united states and state as California. Since I don't want the information to repeat, I'll just edit out United States and CA from the address column. As for the mobile number, if you are adding the mobile number in international format, there is something that you must take care, which I will just explain to you in, in just one minute. Hang on. There was no email for this particular store, so let's just leave it blank. As for business hours on the Google map listing, it says 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So let's add it 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. This is a Harley Davidson store. So I'll keep the type as dealer. I'll also show you how you can add additional information by adding another column. 
here let's say we are adding a column by the name of shopping when it is say in store shopping we'll add one more entry from google map we'll pick up uh, another holly davidson store this one copy the name uh, copy the address let's just keep it as a string no need to separate okay let me talk to you about mobile numbers especially mobile numbers in international format has a plus symbol if you add that in google sheet it will be treated as a formula and you will not be able to see the plus symbol so the only way there are two ways one you can start off with a single inverted comma and then paste the number that you copied and then press enter that works also the second method is you type in equal to followed by double inverted comma and then paste the number in international format so this is something tricky that i just learned while i was making the video so let's continue i'll add a dummy email for harley davidson uh, for both stores and business hours looks to be the same paste that again this is a dealer and i'm gonna say shopping is only pickup shopping so i'll add in pickup only and then give in type as dealer now i go to store locator settings and i have to double check whether my columns are mapped properly starting with the store name the address looks fine i've added a new column so i'll add that to the filters i'll add shopping column to filters i will also add the same column to tags and show you how it actually looks on the map I give it an update and I can see that in the background the coordinates are generated. It says update is a success. Now I go to store locator and I click on share map and it opens up the map code. I can open the map. I can see that both the stores locations have been added. Clicking on view on map takes me to that location. The phone number seems to be added properly the address information that i added for the second entry in the address column that also looks fine the first one is a combination of the three columns you can see below the business address that's what we call as tags separated by dots and if the user wants to start, find stores near them they click on that icon they can apply filters both of them are dealers one supports in-store shopping the other supports pickup only that's all about storelocator.site this is a very easy tool which allows you to automatically calculate the coordinates of your stores you just need to add the details of your stores like name address the latitude longitude information is automatically calculated they are plotted on a map you have a list that can be filtered the user can search for their nearest location and get that store on the map and if they click on the get directions button it will take the user to google map and show the direction instructions from their current location to the location in netherlands when i was testing it i was in the middle east and it showed me i could literally drive from the middle east to netherlands that's something new i learned so the big question is the product free among all the store locators, this is the only product that has a free plan. The free plan allows you to show up to 5 stores, gives you 100 map loads, 500 searches. It actually works on top of Mapbox. So if you have a Mapbox access token, you will be getting a discounted price. It will start from $12 per month. Or you could take up their highest plan, the standard plan, $49 per month and stay relaxed and have this running on your website hassle free so that's all about store locator i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching if you have any questions please let us know